Hey guys, um, thanks for coming back to our channel and watching us. Um, it's hot still, California is burning, um, and we're still working. Today I have a 2000, it's a 2013 E-Class, I think 09 to 13 is the same. Um, one, of, one of my customers wanted us to repair all these blemishes on the bumper here, 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 this thing's broken here. This actually was pretty cheap. Looked it up, ordered it today. Um, this is falling out. I think this, the spring-loaded section is broken. Um, so we're gonna take the front bumper cover off and we're gonna gut it. And then um, we'll send it off to paint. When we get it back, we'll reassemble the bumper. We'll put it back on the car. Um, we're gonna also do the rear bumper and the side skirt. So, um, you know, we'll break the video up in pieces so you guys can get to see how's everything working. Um, so, first thing first, um, I guess we're gonna have to remove the grill to get to it. And in order to remove the grill, we gotta remove this um, little air duct cover that it has. I've already removed the wheels off the car so we can get inside. Um, so, first thing first, let's get these uh, air ducts here. They pretty much just pop off from, from the front to back. I'll just do it from back there, it's a lot easier, it looks like. There's a cable down in here. I'll show you guys this hood lash cable. That pops around here. Goes in there. There and there. This thing will pretty much I'll show you. Um, so these guys right here, these little things you gotta pull up on. And this thing comes out. There's a dragonfly. There's no clips actually holding this, it's just here, 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 little tabs. So I just kind of just play with it. You can take it off from here if you want or from here. It's just easier to come off from there, so I took it off that way. And put that right here so it doesn't get lost. Uh, make sure nothing goes into here. It's going to go in your engine. We're not getting that far into it, so I'm pretty, pretty calm about that. Um, the grill, now let's see how to remove the grill. Looks like, from what I see here, that 10's gotta go. That was cool. I'm gonna put, the I'm gonna put this 10 back into the spot. Um, looks like there's some tabs down here for the grill. Gotta kind of push down on them um, and pull at the same time and they'll pop out. Um, there's four of them. I, I guess I, I can show you once I get it off because the camera can't get really in here. But if I show you, okay, so the bottom is loose. And this thing's gotta come up because it has these tabs right here. As you can see, so what, when I was sticking my hand down in here, these are the tabs that I was removing. And then these slide into here. So this new grill's gotta go back in this way and then clip in. So don't uh, force and try to yank it out this way, you will break it. That's how you remove the grill. Pretty nice grill. Um, I put this upstairs, 